Hello there everyone, I am Big Bear and welcome back to the next episode of Inscription. Full disclosure, I had a couple more cracks at Leshy after I stopped recording last time. I was successful in defeating him and it looked something like this. Okay, so I'm gonna level with you. I gave it one more shot after I ended the prior episode. So, basically it seems like things are kinda going in my direction now. Um, I think this should take it the coyote and this is going to take it three hits and it should take it up. Again, like that's not going to work though, really, is it? Um, because I, I have to change the deck up to be more powerful on a standalone. I can't just keep hoping for this combination. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can win it. Because I definitely under no circumstances wanted to... Uh Oh, sugar. Okay, yeah, under no circumstances that I definitely just want to keep playing um, and uh, not have it in this particular episode. So, obviously, we're going to start, you know, uh, the, the next episode with this recording in it. But, uh, yeah, I will leave it in. So, here we go. And that's it in a nutshell. Oh, for God's sake! There, you're. Co oh God, that's the ones that he copied at the beginning. That's absolutely no use. Watch <sighs> Oh, dear Lord. Okay, if I don't make it, I'm still going to leave a part of this in the uh, in the next episode, but... Oh no, actually, this, this, should, uh, this should do it. There you go. Sheer luck. The Great Scribe was incredibly bested. Yes, you were, Leshy. Yes, you were. Far away, a light enveloped a long-forgotten momentum. Monument, sorry. Oh! Right, so one down, three to go, I guess. There we go. Avenging Druid. You had triumphed, narrowly avoiding tooth and claw. The scribe of beasts was defeated. That you were able to defeat me beggars belief, but now I must kill you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent. Thank you very much. More cards. Oh, got myself a wee uh, bear. That's good. Mantis. That's really working out well for me, so I'm going to remember that. Cool. Okay, what is this? Insect drone strike. Okay, we'll have a wee look at this later. Okay. But now that that is done, we can move on with the next episode. So we are still in Leshy's cabin. I don't think there's anything else around here. We defeat the angler. Uh, we've defeated the prospector. Yeah, so there was nothing else really standing out. I, I'm assuming the bridge... Oh yeah, the bridge has been repaired. I can see that. But I'm going to crack on with Gamora at this time. Just because she's on that island as well. I can't remember what it was she said that I had to do, though. Um, oh, hello. You found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, eaten by a hungry dog. Eaten by... Do I have to go and defeat all the ghouls and things? Is that probably what I'm... You found a piece, of, a piece of an epitaph. It reads, does not hold a grudge. Okay. What's through here? Oh, it's the uh, chappy. Hello. Do you wish to trade? Yes, I do. Oh, no. I've got six foils. Oh, sugar. Actually, yeah, give me a wee second. I'm just going to go back and get my Ouroboros. Um, because that was there over a six or seven foils i can't remember because that uh is an extremely helpful card it also occurred to me that i probably could have done more to actually buff that just by getting it killed because it does come back even more powerful so that sounds like a sensible thing and it should probably win me some more matches oh god the aroboros is eight now okay that's fine let's go and crack on with a couple of her ghosties and figure out what we need to do next Whoops. Because there's no point in going to the other side if I just need to continue. Is this going to kill me? Or... Hello. Oh no. Oh no. Don't look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff. I beg you. What? If you wish to battle, please, let us get it over with. He doesn't sound very happy. 
Oh, okay, interesting. <clears throat> and I, oh right, so does that actually just allow me to reshuffle? Um, play that. And I can't use the energy card yet, but that's fine. Bye. Um, here. Should do, and then we'll get another energy. Oh, sugar, okay, no, I can't use that at the moment. I might as well, for all intents and purposes, just play that card. And, yeah, that'll do for now. Gone. Then I can hit it with a free energy. Oh, no, okay, I need to sacrifice for that. That's a bit annoying. And I've got five. Ooh. And I can play him on the next turn, which is fine by me. What the? Did that skeleton just die? Okay, I should get a wee bit of overkill here. Skeleton collapses in a pile of bones. Oh! <clears throat> so they just do one, one shot then, essentially. I do want to get some overkill here. Uh, three in the scale, that should give me some overkill. Yeah. Four, uh, four overkill, that's pretty good. Right. Okay, bear with me a second, I'm just going to go and get my Ouroboros. It is over. You chewed me out. Now, please look away. Turn your eyes to this card pack instead. Oh, a deathly card pack. What is this? Bone Heap. Pay two bones to increase the power and health of Bone Heap. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Factory Conduit. Empty spaces within a circuit completed by Factory Conduit spawn L33P bots at the end of the owner's turn. Oh, okay, that's interesting. When Steel Mice is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. Ooh, okay, I, I do like that. That's interesting. I am called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please. Do not go digging up my bones. Why would it, you find a piece of an epitaph that reads Sawyer Patel 1702 Fall 1778? Oh, I see. So now I can go down here to get... Well, okay, hang on a minute. We'll come back to that. Right, give me a wee second. I'll go and buy a Roborus. Okay, okay. And I might actually change up my card deck as well. You found a piece of an epitaph. It reads... Brought down by scurvy. Oh, hello. A gust of foul-smelling air blows from the casket. Eugh. Whoa. You have no offering. Okay, I need to go and find an offering. Um, let me just have a quick look because I want to get Ouroboros into my deck. Um, yeah, let's just scrap the existing one. So we want Ouroboros... I want the Undying Cat as well, just because it's handy for sacrifices, and I really do like Mantis God. I'm certainly going to put a couple of them in, because they've really helped. I'll keep an Adder, because that's pretty handy. I'm not going to put Bear in at the moment, because I'm not at a point, I think, where I, I can really sort of throw three blood out there. I will take Bone Heap, because we get bones <coughs> every time <coughs> Excuse me, a card does. I do like the exploding bots. That energy bot, I like the sentry turrets because they're good for taking down and blocking. I will take a couple of thick droids. Uh, I do like Gamblot, and I'll take a couple of steam bots as well. That seems... Seems pretty good, I think. It should do. Do I need to go up and... Oh, he was the middle though, wasn't he? There we go. Okay. Oh, right, so I need to... I don't have any offerings though, I don't know what they mean. Hark! A living slice of lemon approaches. Brighton triggers lime. Was he a pirate? Ye think ye will squeeze a defeat out of me? Yes, I do. I do indeed. Something be wrong. Your deck ain't right. Return when you've got twi- What? Oh, of course, because I doubled up on some. Um... <clears throat> Interesting. Punto, even if there is a creature opposing it. 
It's kind of handy. <clears throat> I think I might take... Yeah, that'll do. Right, so let's see what this guy has to offer. Um, we've got a sentry turret, which is a good start. I'm going to put that down, and I don't need to worry about anything at the moment. <laughs> Damn, okay. See, Mantis God is awesome. I can't play anything else. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, this is a bit of a problem because I can't actually play anything. Five. Okay, and on we go. And if I sacrifice... That'll do the business. And uh, what's going to be a two? Yeah. Just want that overkill. I feel like this is going better than the, as I said in the last episode, the beginning of the game. Because that was not working out for me sometimes. You beat me to a pulp. Firstly, take ye this. Okay, another deck. Ooh, Tomb Robber. Pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. Okay, it's kind of good. Because you bested me with ye, I'll share me secret. My name's Royal. Okay. It reads Dominic. Fifteen, eight, nine, spring, six, two. Okay, look. You found a piece of an epitaph in the casket. It reads, hit by a falling piece of ice. You found a card pack among the giblets. Cool. What is this? Grave digger. At the end of the owner's turn, grave digger will generate one bone. Oh, that is that's quite handy. And I've got... I don't really think I need anything else, though. Eh, uh, we've got another... Ooh. You find a piece of it. There was no cure. Oh, God. Cool! Do we get to actually... Oh, okay. I'm going to have to really think carefully about this. I'm not being a wee robot, though. What is that? Um, I did like the guy with the hat there. Oh, that's weird. That's a cowboy looking dude. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Right. Okay, give me a wee minute. I'll defeat this ghost and we'll be right back. Okay, okay, that was pretty straightforward. Take it back on the house. Uh, I do feel like it's kind of difficult to get uh, some of my heavier cards on the board because I've not got any smaller ones. I've kind of gone for power, but uh, uh, you know what? Maybe I will shake things up in a wee bit. The name's Casey. Casey Hobbs. I'm from the first to from the tombstone on the left. You found a piece of an epitaph. Casey Hobbs. So he is Casey Hobbs. Casey Hobbs, uh, which means. This individual is him, I think. Is he not? Can I? Oh. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this is a bit of a problem because I should have paid attention to what I was doing. So I thought that was it, or was the other guy eaten by a hungry dog then? Because that's got to be right, eaten by a hungry dog. doesn't hold a grudge, because he doesn't hold a grudge against the dog. And then, because I got all the names right, I know that for a fact. Brought down by scurvy. There was no cure. Ah, there we go. Marvellous, I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. Um, I beg to differ. Thank you very much. I was beginning to worry I would be sealed away behind those tombstones forever. Locked down at the mercy of a challenger's wits until one day discovered. But no, you prevailed, and now it's time to... BATTLE! 
My minions never truly die, you know. Let's see how you fare. Oh, okay. Oh, good. I've got an undying cat. That's quite handy, but I don't have a blood sacrifice yet, and I have no bones. Um. <sighs> okay, I'll put sentry down first. Yep. Damn. Okay. This isn't good. I can't sacrifice anything! Oh god, I'm gonna die right immediately, haven't I? No, that's not gonna do for my deck. Jesus. Okay, let me have a wee think about this. Because I've not got enough defensive cards, um, I've been thinking too much on the heavy side. Yeah. Oh, damn it! Okay. So I've gone with an all robotic deck, and this seems to be panning out a little bit better than it did before for me. <sighs> God damn it. It's just these things just keep on coming. Bloody hell. Uh, what else have I got? Three, and then I can roll the dice. Two on. And that should be it. Ten on the scale? No, maybe not. Okay, at least I got rid of that bleeding sarcophagus, which was a nightmare. Uh, oh, and I can do some overkill. There we go. Oh no, I keep forgetting these boss battles have halfway points. Though I may not like... Yeah, oh fuck. Those corpses. What have you done to my deck? Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, um... Well, I can get a shot off of that bad boy. Can I... I can just play them, then? Four? Oh, okay, that's pretty good, actually. Why, why can I just play them, though? Because that one I can buff. But they only have one health. Hmm, interesting. Hey! Oh, good, okay, I'm glad that worked. I think mixing up the two different types of decks, uh, which I was trying to do initially, which was animal and, or sort of like the, uh, the beasts and the robots, wasn't really working for me, so I've just kind of focused down on the robotic deck and that really did pan out better. You really defeated me, I did. I was not expecting that. Neither was I, I'll be honest. Your ambition is to replace PO3, but, well, between you and I, there will come an opportunity to change your mind. And I beg that you spare me. Take these, then go. Pretty well. And then hopefully if I can go and beat PO3, that gives me some better robotic cards as well. I think that's what I'm going to do. The cards were added to your collection. Okay. Oh, she's asking me to spare her, though, because I will have a chance to pick a different um, individual to replace. What's these? The walkers. When the walkers die, four bones are awarded instead of one. That's pretty good. And what's that? Headless Horseman. Airborne. Also... Headless Horseman isn't airborne. At the end of the owner's turn, Headless Horseman will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Thirteen bones! Oh, he's five health, five. That's pretty good, though. I'm going to remember that. Whoa. What's happened? Okay. Oh, it's the, uh, the video's back. Oh, cool. Okay, so we got some more clips to I watch. I just gotta send it. To whom it may concern. It's a bit formal. Hello there! Exclamation point. My name is Luke Carter, and I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you've sent me over the years. So it was a great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of Inscription. I think maybe one of my fans pranked me and buried a copy in the woods near my house. 
Upon further research, however, I have not been able to find any record of this game. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? Any trace of this game? Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. It at least appears professionally made. I am both puzzled and excited by this discovery. Any information you can provide would be much appreciated. Thank you, the Lucky Carter. Well written. Okay. Good enough. Sam. So, I'm beginning to understand a little bit more about what is occurring here. So, of course, he's found a copy. We are, so it's supposed to be essentially that we are playing as him. So I understand that we're supposed to be kind of, you know, he's seeing it through our eyes, essentially. So I understand that concept. I'm not too sure about this whole can't find a trace of the game, though. That's a bit worrying. <clears throat> hey, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this, well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do. So I'm hoping someone can help me out here. Did anyone ever play an inscription video game or hear about it? I'm talking about that vintage one set card game I opened packs for last week. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um, I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. I've been uh, filming myself playing it, and uh, it's weird, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage, but can someone please prove me wrong? Please tell me someone has a copy of this game. I have been looking online for days, and I cannot find a word about it. I reached out to the publishers, hoping maybe they would get back to me. But as a fallback, I got you beautiful viewers. Hopefully dig up something. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so much, as always. Okay, okay. And, um, oh yeah, uh, what the fuck is the car? Whoa. Okay, that's ominous. Mr. Carter, we have received <clears throat> considered stolen and it is not returned to us within a reasonable time frame. Please carefully package the hardware and paste the attached shipping label to the front of the box. You may mail the package at a local post office. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please do not delay in returning the proprietary software. It's rude. Sincerely, Game Funa, Customer Happiness Department. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Okay. I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. She came to my door yesterday and I didn't answer. This time I'm going to record it. Hi. Hi there. Hey. I'm Lucky Disc for a game called Inscription. Oh, so you came by a copy of it somehow? Uh... Sound familiar? No. No? No, I don't know anything about that. Really? In inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. Really? Because, um, apparently you emailed us about it. You are, uh, Luke Carter, right? Oh. <laughs> you know the Lucky Carter gmail.com? Yeah, uh, you know what? That's, uh, I am Luke Carter, but that's not my email address. Uh, I just noticed because I've seen your videos. Oh! <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Listen, uh, how did you know where I live exactly? My <laughs> boss gave me your address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. <laughs> okay, Luke. Um, I'm going to give you my business card. And if you remember anything, anything at all, feel free to give me a call. Okay. Will do. Take care. 
Through in the old trespass at her, eh? What the fuck? <laughs> it's just getting weirder and weirder. God damn. Hey there, card gamers! I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today I'm opening Secrets of Legendaria. Hoping for that sweet, sweet foil Thalamir. Is he losing his marbles? Interesting. Bloody hell. Yeah, this is weird. Okay, well, we've seen all that. Stop browsing footage. Whoa. Okay. Um, right, well, that's us, so we should... Oh, it's those guys. Mushroom. Oh, you found us here. This is good. This is good. Yes, yeah, stop repeating yourself. We require, we require, we require duplicates. Yes, we know that. Do you see the diagram? Two of that. Oh, uh, do I not have two of the... Uh, oh, no, he was a bone thing. Oh, no, I've only got one. Uh, okay, I'm assuming I can go and trade when I get overkill. The, the most annoying thing is I'm I'm kind of using the robot pack and I know that the Ouroboros will be quite significant. Whoa. Okay, that is, uh, that is P3O, I guess. Um, <clears throat> yeah, as I say, I'm not using the animal cards though, which is kind of annoying, but maybe I should be using Ouroboros just now to beef it up. What can I... What the hell's going on here? Um, what can I buy? He wish to trade from... Oh, okay, he's got... What the hell's that? Curve Hopper. What's that? A pack containing one rare and two common techno cards and a common... Ah, oh, okay, so I have no overkill as well. That's a bit of a dilemma. Uh, I don't know what's... It? It's, I'm not too sure if I want to be defeating him last because... It is him that I want to take over from. Whoa. The note reads greetings. If you're reading this, it must be because you wish to challenge me, Magnificus, to a card. Oh, Magnificus, that's his name. But one of the scribes. But in order to, to earn that privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. As for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificus. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, what was that? Okay, you know what, I'm going to leave this episode here because we've defeated Gamora. Um, I think I'm going to do this one and then do Robot P3O at the end because that's who I want to take over from as a scribe. Uh, yeah, but you know what, I'm going to leave this episode here. Listen, thank you so much to all my subscribers. I know I have 48 at the moment and I know that seems like a small number and I have said it before, but it is always, I'm always very, very appreciative of the fact that you people will come and spend time with me on my channel and I do hope you're enjoying my content. And if you do, please hit the like and subscribe button. This is Big Bear signing off, but there will be another video. See ya!